if a program or an insert statement tries to put data into this table uh, and it doesn't pass it uh, anything for the sales date field um, it will just default it automatically to the current date and then we have the amount field and now this is a numeric field and its length is 10 positions total two of which are decimal places that's what that means so you have it's 10 10 character or 10 digits total okay followed by a comma that's how you specify these fields and two of those 10 are the decimal place and then we have not null so again uh, you have to put uh, data into this uh, into that amount field so if I didn't make a mistake when I type this in if I press enter it was created so and it just tells me that it's not journaled no big deal so uh, a few things about um, the fields you can have character fields you can have floating point fields you can have small integer fields um, you can have uh, there's a whole there's a whole slew of types that the system supports I'm not going to get into all of them uh, you can have blobs or binary large objects um, type fields so you can have a lot of different fields um, the the main ones if you're familiar with like your packed uh, um, pack decimals that is a decimal okay uh, it's deci it's um, uh, it looks like this okay the type is decimal that's your packed fields if you're familiar with that um, an integer is another one so integer like that uh, so a lot of different field types for defining your fields and then I covered uh, the date time and the timestamp so if you wanted a date field you would do just like we have here okay we have date if you wanted time okay it looks like that uh, that's how you define a time and then timestamp like I said uh, all one word time time stamp okay and then lastly the nulls so um, null not null um, so on and so forth okay so um, let's I'm gonna go ahead and insert uh, a row of data so let's go ahead and take a look at this file so SQL course and then the sales file that uh, we just created so there's no data in it and I'm gonna go ahead and insert some data so I can show how this current date uh, feature works so we'll go insert into SQL course sales and then 